since I had to rush to the hospital on Monday, I've been thinking yeah. a lot about gratitude. I know we've had an election. I know we're waiting on things on this election. Come on, let's get the whole counting process done, please. please. So I just started thinking, why not just be grateful for stuff? Because it's mm. so easy to complain about everything. I mean, I've got reason to complain. Liz has reason to complain. Every person on the planet has a reason to complain about something, right? So today I'm like, choosing to be grateful and just practice gratitude today. And I know Thanksgiving is like weeks away, but you know what? I just want to be grateful. So we fired up our open mic on our app, which is uh, the My His Radio app free on Google Play in the App Store. We started asking people and they started texting in too about things that they're grateful for. Right. And, you know, it's so much better to be grateful and we don't have to be grateful just this time of year because it is Thanksgiving, but it's good for your health. It's good for your mind. It's good for your body um, and good for those around you as well, because they can see that you have gratitude no matter what you're going through. Okay, are we starting with any texts or are we just jumping in the open mic? We are jumping into it. Okay, so this is from the open mic on the My His Radio app. Things that people are grateful for. This is Lloyd. I am thankful for my wife. Hi, I'm Isabel. And I'm thankful for God, my family, and my animals. Hey, this is Jimmy. Hey, this is Jeanette, and I'm thankful for my church family. I'm thankful for my four-wheeler. This is Carson. Bye. This is Nathaniel. And Allison. And we love our family and friends. Thank you. We love you. You're the best. I am thankful for my three amazing boys, JP, Luke, and Jonah. Love being a boy mom. This is Mark Rand, and I'm just so, so thankful for my congregation and their love and their support and the fact that God makes us one in his holy name. It's great to hear from a pastor through all that, too. Yeah, I know. It's great for the congregation and everything. And, yeah. and I like the boy mom. I'm a boy mom. <laughs> I'm a boy mom. I totally get where she's coming from. It's awesome. Yeah, you have one girl out of the house getting right. ready to make you uh you didn't you don't call yourself grandma. You call yourself a, a bitty? Bitta. Will bitta. you stop that? It is bitta. Yeah, and I am so grateful for that. Just going through this process with my daughter. Um, as she's you know starting to feel the kicks and the moves and all. Oh, it's it's the greatest thing. It's a great time in there. Well, what about you? What are you grateful for? You can text 800-447-7234 or go to the My His Radio app. His Morning Crew. Thank you for all the nice comments that I've seen on Facebook. I'm going to make it. I'm a little sore from the surgery on Monday, and I'm sitting at home doing my part of His Morning Crew virtually. But you know what? It's going to be okay. So we're choosing, no matter what in life, to be grateful today on His Morning Crew. I'm Rob. That's Liz. We're His Radio. Yeah, we are talking about being grateful, as Rob said. And Michelle said, I just want to say how grateful I am for answered prayer. I've been praying about financial woes for a while, but she got a promotion that more than doubled her salary. And now she looks forward to giving back to others. That is really cool. When you can not only be grateful, but turn it into something good for yeah. other people. That's pretty awesome, Michelle. Um, Dale also said, um, I was provided two different jobs for me this year, even going through COVID and everything else was not without a job for even one day during everything that we're going through. So that's some good news. And then Kathy says, I'm grateful for what COVID has taught me. It brought me closer to God and pushed me out of my comfort zone. She's a teacher and it's, um, it's helped her even in her teaching career. And I, I can identify with that. That is good. So we're going to turn to our open mic, which is on the My His Radio app, uh, which you can download, by the way, for free, Google Play in the App Store. So when you use the open mic, you can say a variety of things, even what you're grateful for. So here's what people are saying on our His Radio app's open mic about being grateful. I'm thankful for my family and all my great customers. Hey, hi, my name is Emily Eldridge, and I'm thankful for my family. This is David. I'm thankful for my wife, my family, and I'm thankful that I have choices that I can freely make in this country. Hey, this is Mike. Really thankful for my wife. She keeps me in good company. We just passed our one year of marriage together. Very thankful for her as well as the rest of my family. That's good. For marriage, for family, for everything. We might as well just be grateful today, right? We should. It just makes you feel better anyway. Why not feel grateful going into the weekend and be able to see the things that God has provided? So go ahead and text, what are you grateful for? 800-447-7234. And also use the My His Radio app's open mic. We'd love to hear from you today. Rob and Liz. His Morning Crew. 
You know, I'm with you. There's so much junk going on in life right now. I mean, we're still waiting on who is going to be the president, right, for starting in 2021. <laughs> so we thought instead of just focusing on the bad stuff, I mean, I've been going through surgery. I'm stuck at home. I'm I'm doing all my part of his morning crew virtually as Liz and everybody else is back at the station. And I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to choose to be grateful. And maybe we could just kind of do that together. Whatever you're going through in life, just choose to be grateful for. So here's the number. Talk or text right now at 800-447-7234. Or you can also leave what you're grateful for on the open mic on the My His Radio app. It's Robin Liz and His Morning Crew. Yeah, we're getting some uh, texts and some calls in this morning, 800-447-7234. Patty says she is, sorry, Melody says, I'm thankful uh, that Jesus saved me four years ago. And then I got introduced to all these women uh, that uh, are the best women I've ever known. She's in a Bible study with them. And it's really cool that they are still able to to get together and and study God's word. So that's really cool. So she's Um, like, found a family. She really has. Yeah, She's found so you know, her own family and then her church family and then this this group of women. So, yeah, it's really good. Patty is a uh, cancer survivor 16 years out. Not only that, her mom is also a cancer survivor. So she has a lot to be thankful for. And then Jess, Jess has a lot going on in her life right now. She says, I'm extremely thankful for 2020. Her sister got married in July. She has two new jobs. Even one is the job of her dreams. She's lost 30 pounds. Her youngest sister just got engaged. I mean, it's just one thing after another. She's like, I'm thankful for this and thankful for this. It's awesome. (laughs) That's a lot to be thankful for. Yeah. Turning to the His Radio open mic. Check this out. This is from the My His Radio app. A lot of people who are so grateful for stuff. I'm Norman. I'm so thankful for my beautiful wife, Marissa, and for all the Lord has done in our lives and in our families. The male, I'm very thankful for the gift that God has given us of life it's great mercy <laughs> even when we don't deserve it even the times when we get frustrated confused even the times when we get mad he's still there for us just barb just want to give thanks for this entire year it's been really good i'm just so grateful and i wanted to share that with you guys it's Kristen, and i'm excited that uh, family all the family gatherings Hallelujah. Love you guys. Yeah, because we've got the holidays like right up against us. Thanksgiving is what? Is it two weeks away? Three. It is three weeks away. Don't start because I I don't want to lay out that turkey yet. (laughs) (laughs) Don't do that to me. Robin Liz. His morning crew. Hey, I just heard news. Okay. The big guy. North Pole. St. Nick. Okay. Needs some help. Oh, what can Mm -hmm. help? He needs help. He needs people to represent him virtually. And oh, he's that's gonna, cool. He's going to pay some big dime, too. You uh, dress um, like him. Uh-huh. People put on the beard like him. Uh-huh. Look like St. Nick. And then with live calls with Santa, which is like a Zoom kind of thing, yeah. representing Santa, he'll pay 25 bucks an hour. Quite well, the I thought can, hustle, huh? I would think so. And I can see that there's a real need for that, especially this year, what we're going through. You're going to have to be socially distant. So why not do it virtually? He doesn't have time for all that. He's got a lot of toys and a lot of stuff going on. Hey, so, so it's like, if you look like me, if you look like St. Nick, if you can have the energy and have a hearty ho, 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 you're in for the job. Where do I apply? <laughs> I think it would be fun. <laughs> you. No, but I'm thinking it would be fun to take on that persona for, you know, a couple of days or or a couple of weeks, right? Who doesn't want to be jolly all the time and make people and kids happy? I know. I know. It's called Live Calls with Santa. And parents get to talk with Santa despite the pandemic. And the kids get to talk with Santa despite the pandemic. So St. Nick needs a little help of people who look like him and can represent him. That sounds like a fun little side job. Let me hear your ho, ho, ho. Oh, was that good? Wow, that's great. That is really good. <laughs> I'd do it, but because I'm broadcasting from my home studio, I'd wake the family up. Oh, <laughs> and then they come it. running looking for gifts. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Understatement here, it's been a weird year. It's Rob and Liz, his morning crew on his radio. And why not have the opportunity to at least be a miracle in a family's life for Christmas coming up? 
Gloria wants to do just that. She already told us she wants to be part of Be a Miracle. And here's why. She said, we can do what we can do for other people, you know, going through all of this this year, but it'd be really fun and exciting to be part of this $1,000 shopping spree and a privilege to be able to love on a family at Christmas. But she says, bonus, I get to meet Rob and Liz. (laughs) And then she went, woohoo! Wait a minute. Is like, that oh, the no. bonus? You sure here, yes. Gloria? I think going to Dollywood with your family and have an overnight stay is so super cool on top of that, right? I think so too. Yeah. If you be it, if you be a miracle, if you want to be part of Be a Miracle, you can text in the word miracle to 800 447 7234 And that's what you can do, just like Gloria said. You get to love on a family because putting a thousand dollars, thanks to our sponsors, in your hand to go on a shopping spree with his morning cruise, Robin Liz, Brian Sumner, Courtney Starr. We're going to have an entire day of it. It's going to be fun. And I promise you, I'll be the crazy uncle and Liz will be the crazy aunt. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Going around shopping with us. Are you sure you want us to go? Huh? Huh? Put that in the shopping cart. Put that in the cart. <laughs> we just start grabbing stuff and throwing it in there. <laughs> How about this? Yeah, here, here come the chips. <laughs> Whole pile of them in They don't there. need chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Dollywood, you'll want a trip there, overnight stay, and that $1,000 shopping spree that you can do for a family with all his radio crew. Again, just go to hisradio.com. We'll get you all signed up to win. Mornings with Rob and Liz. I think I need to set the mood here because if I understand this correctly, Liz wants to talk about uh, some palettes here. So that would be Bob yeah. Roth. That would be paintings. Uh, it's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. Absolutely not. <laughs> Isn't that it's a palette? Not- you see, when I think of a palette, I think of the of the colors that Bob Ross has on his palette. And he makes and that- happy little trees. That could be the case as far as the colors go, but we're not talking Mm -hmm. about Bob Ross or trees at all. We're talking about makeup. There's another makeup palette that's coming out that I'm kind of excited about. If you are a Friends fan, um, I don't know if you still watch the reruns or whatever because they're still on every day, everywhere. But there is a company that has just dropped a brand new Friends makeup collection, and it's inspired by the different characters that are on the show. So if you're familiar, like with Monica, she has a purple door to her apartment and around the peephole inside the door is a yellow frame. So you've got yellow as part of the palette. And I think you've got a purple that's one of the palette colors. But um, one is uh, the color of Phoebe's grandmother's taxi cap. (laughs) This is not a color. Yellow? Yeah, it's a deeper yellow. So you've got the light yellow. yellow. Yes, that is the color of the frame on the door. And then you've got the darker yellow from what I understand that is uh, the taxi cab. Um, And so the different characters have inspired the colors that are within the palette. But they have not only eyeshadow, but they're doing lip gloss and lipstick. And it's a whole thing. And um, one of the palettes looks like the big coffee mug because they're always at the coffee shop. Uh Central Park. Um, and then another looks like, I think the, the lobsters, because Rachel and Ross are, you know, they're, they're each other's lobster. L- listen, <laughs> I like this better when we're talking about happy trees. So can we go back to that palette? <laughs> no, I want to talk happy makeup. Trees. Can I, can I get a girl trees. in this room so I can talk I makeup? Need, I need the mountains now. I need the mountains. Just little happy, this, just little pet, 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 pet right here. Can someone teach me to do a wing? To do a what? A wing. A wing? Are you talking makeup now? Yes, an eyeliner. I'm, I'm trying to keep it on on makeup. No, 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 no. I want to talk about, you know, happy trees and stuff like that. Oh, you, Rob. I think people need a little Bob Ross in life. <laughs> right? Well, I think I need a little more makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Rob and Liz. His morning crew. This is going to help when it comes to fashion and your fanny pack it's robin liz his morning crew on his radio <laughs> keep it Whoever. well insulated i mean it's gonna be the best fanny pack around i don't know who's doing marketing over at stouffer's <laughs> but <laughs> they're wild they're thinking over time so i i like a lasagna from you know the stouffer's people it's pretty cool it's pretty quick you can feed the family but if you're on the move with your said lasagna there's a way to keep it warm now <laughs> a fanny pack. <laughs> Why? Seriously. 
Stouffer's Why? came out with a fanny pack that you could put your lasagna in. It's well insulated and it's going to keep things warm. Your your fanny pack and your your lasagna. So you can carry around your lasagna wherever you go. I, I have to ask, is it the family version of the said lasagna? Is it the oh, wow. Costco and Sam's version of the lasagna? Or is it just that little bitty, you know, like the the single? It's got to be a single size. You'd think because, you know, it's just a personal sized fanny pack. So you can't get that much lasagna in there. Of course, they would probably want you to carry around the family lasagna or maybe the biggie from Costco <laughs> Sam. Well, that would have to be you like could. a saddle bag rather than a fanny pack. <laughs> That's one big fanny pack. Uh, yeah. And they have stickers and T-shirts and coffee mugs that go along with it. So you can have your coffee mug along with you. It's got lasagna on it. And then you have your fanny pack that has a lasagna in it and on it. Kind of like real I'm... life. Um, <laughs> so, I'm sorry I went there. I'm thinking this would make some uh, pretty good Christmas gifts. If your family likes to do those silly type gifts, I think it would be cute. White my elephant. youngest son loves that kind of thing. White elephant gift. <gasps> oh, my. Yes. That is perfect. That is yeah. perfect. Lasagna fanny pack. Yeah. For your next part. His morning crew. Now is the time. I mean, hold off for the Cyber Monday Black Friday deals if you're trying to buy a laptop right now. It's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. Yeah, that's what we're hearing from the experts. And I watch this because I- I've told you before, I don't like to buy anything that's not on sale. If I don't have a coupon, it's not on sale. I usually don't buy it. So Black Friday is awesome. But they're saying if you want a Chromebook, especially, this is the time to buy it as well as those laptops. So. If do you need a laptop or a Chromebook? No, we just bought one at the beginning of the year, Chromebook, so that my son can do his school from home. So he goes to a charter school, Langston. So it's middle mm-hmm. school, and he's doing all his stuff on his Chromebook right now. Set up a little place in the bonus room that's like his virtual school. He goes to school twice a week. The other days he's at home. And right. so we got one for him at the beginning of the year. But if we could have held out and we didn't have to worry about virtual school, this is like the time to do it, especially since the deals have already hit. I mean, they're all over the internet. You don't even have to wait for Black Friday. It's like Black Friday's now. It's crazy. Yeah, you're seeing a lot of the ads come out to say it starts now and some of the bigger stores are doing it. And I think Amazon's, of course, done their deals and whatnot, but they still have those deals every day. But that's the thing. I mean, you brought that up that you were kind of forced into getting that Chromebook and you didn't get to wait for the better deal. We went through the same thing at the end of the school season last year. We had to buy Hayden a new computer and it was kind of like, yeah, you paid what you paid. I know, right? But now, I mean, it's we're just clicking right on through. So if you're like, okay, my computer's not doing it and you need a laptop for the kids or virtual, this is the time to get it with all these Black Friday deals and Cyber Monday that's coming up. Yeah, and you've probably got the next couple of weeks. I would say after Cyber Monday, get out of it. His morning crew. We're just going to let her get it out of her system. She's going to talk about this anyway. She wants to get off to a private island one day. Miss Liz Riles, I'm Rob Dempsey. It's his morning crew. And once I tell you about this private island, I think you're going to want to do the same thing. This is a private island that you can rent the entire thing. It has a pool. It's like 5,000 square feet. Um, It has access to kayaks and paddle boards, anything. Oh, and a personal chef, by the way. It also has a helipad, so you can take your helicopter to the island, so if you wish. (laughs) I don't even want to think how much this costs, because it's going to be so out of my price range, crazy. No, 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 naysayer. It is $50 a night, but there's a catch. (laughs) Uh, Of course there is. Of course. there. It's only open for that amount of money, from like November 14th to the 21st. Okay. So they want you to kind of do it around Thanksgiving. I checked last night because believe me, I was going to book this. I'm um, sure for 50 yeah, bucks. It's, it's sold out, <laughs> but I'm hoping for next year. They're saying they may do it next year as well. So you just have to get in on it as soon as it opens up, but $50 a night, you could stay there the whole week for $2,000. And I think that's all the fees and everything so- included. Do you have to, can you do one night or do you have to do all week? I think you can do 
just one or two nights. I, I did not see a limit on it. However, I think you just might as well. I mean, it's $50 a night. Why not just stay? Just said, wait a minute. You just said $2,000 a week, but it's 50 bucks a night. Well, because there's other fees that go. They always uh, charge you the cleaning see, fees see, and okay. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But That's still, 2000 well, but $2,000 that is broken up over six people and you've got your entire private island and a private chef that is there to cook all your meals. Okay. Yes. Where do I sign? How's that dude going to make money? You're paying him. Okay. You got to be paying him too, right? It's got to come out of that, but it, that's not in the fees that I saw. So I think it's worth it. <laughs> I'm skeptical. Why am I skeptical? I don't know. It's I think to be true. maybe this year has made us skeptical, but no, I I'm all in. Okay. Enjoy your vacation. <laughs> Mornings with Rob and Liz. They found an asteroid that is oh, worth good. a lot of money. Mm. They want to go and get this asteroid. Seriously, an asteroid floating out in space. NASA said it's worth all the money in the world, this one asteroid. But wait, they want to go get it? <laughs> in uh, they're going to go, they're gonna go study it. Seriously, they're going to send oh, okay. a spacecraft. They call it the Psyche 16. That's the asteroid. That's the name of it. And they said it's an estimated 10 thousand can i say this right quadrillion dollars never heard of that before quadrillion quadrillion dollars ten thousand quadrillion dollars that is a ton of zeros at the end of ten a ton <laughs> of them it's roughly the size of massachusetts it's made of nickel and iron and it floats in an asteroid belt that orbits between mars and jupiter and so they've studied this thing and they say that's what it's worth so they're going to send a spacecraft It'll get there by 2022. They're going to study it. Sadly, they can't bring it back to Earth. And they can't. And, and when they send some materials back, or they're not going to send any materials back. So we can't. Uh, this is going to sound weird. Capitalize on, oh, true. on what the thing is worth, right? But they want to study it because they say the more that they study that, they'll learn about our own planet. Wait a minute. So I have an idea. Maybe they could send a crew up to land on it, to drill through it, to grab some of that and bring bits of it back. Hmm. Where have I seen that before? Let me see. <laughs> I want to call that bald guy that's in Die oh, Hard. Right. I can't yeah. remember his name. Uh, Bruce something? Willis. There you go. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is sounding like a movie, only it's Love not that. hurling to toward the Earth. It's orbiting around Jupiter. And it's worth a lot of cash. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Can I say one more thing? What's that? Before we wrap up this morning, I just want to say how thankful that we are, his morning crew, that you are here and we are able to connect with you with uh, technology via Zoom. And we love you, Rob Dempsey. You're talking about me? Yes, oh, we love you. you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here's what they're referring to. I had emergency surgery if you haven't been around for this past week on Monday. So I'm recovering and I'm doing my whole part of his morning crew from the house. You can't tell because of the way technology is, but yeah. that's what I've been doing. We've been separated by, I think I'm like 12 miles from the radio station. Right. But we cannot wait to get you back absolutely in this studio. But you know what? I am so glad to be able to look at your face every single day and be able to do this show with you. And I am just thankful. Yeah, it's a lot better on the TV screen. <laughs> in person, <laughs> 3D, oh, my word. Yeah, just keep it on Zoom, right? Yes. Thank you. You guys are we great. Love, love this team.